first go to file change job name give some name cantilever beam okay preferences structural okay then second step is preprocessor go to modeling first we have to create our model and we have to do the analysis on cantilever beam so we need to create cantilever beam first so first step is we have to create key point first then we'll convert in a straight line so first go to modeling create key points in active cs then give here first key point 000, click apply, then second key point is 1000 and 0, click OK. Then second step is we have to convert this key point in a straight line, then click on a straight line here, line and a straight line, then we have to select both key points first key point and second key point then okay now our model is ready okay so here this is a rectangular cantilever beam so first we need to create one straight line only after that we have to select section we'll do later section means we in section we have to select rectangular section so the second step is element type we need to select element type so add here and beam we are doing beam so beam and two node 188 okay close real constant you can check here you can check the beam element type does not require real constant because we are doing 3d element so 3d element does not have any real constant okay so there is no need to add real constant so now the third step is material properties so click on material properties material models structural linear elastic isotropic then here we have to enter elastic models means young modulus value and Poison's ratio value. So here young, mo young modulus values I am entering 20,000, 200,000. Okay. Mm. And here Poison's ratio 0.33. Click OK. Now this of um, section is complete. Now go to section. Beam common section so here we have to select these are th this is our section subtype so whatever the type is the type is we can select here okay so now our section is rectangular beam so we need to give height and base so base should be 10 and height also should be 10 click ok now our model is completed so now the next step is meshing we need to mesh so first meshing size control manual size lines okay all lines so here number of element divisions we need to give how many divisions we want means we have to discretize the our object so our object is a straight line so we need to divide it so it's depend upon us how many divisions we want suppose i'm giving 60 divisions means this this line will divide in 60 divisions okay so now you can see here the line has been divided in 60 divisions so you can check here from plot sorry list key point and uh, nodes everything you can check from here so nodes nodes only so you can see how many nodes is there so number of node to list cp 12.78 like that so everything we can check now we need to again 
we have to go in mesh in mesh only go to mesh lines and pick all so now it is meshed fully meshed so after meshing only we have to apply the boundary conditions so now we can apply boundary conditions from the section load also here from here also we can apply otherwise we can directly go in solution and in solution also loading condition is given so anywhere it depend upon us so here just go to define load apply a structural since we are doing cantilever beam analysis so we know that cantilever beam means one end is fixed and one end is free so this end is fixed so i'm fixing this one so displacement on key point or nodes anyone we can select because we know two key points we have created so there is two key points at both ends and uh, after that we have uh, divided in number of nodes and elements so there is number of nodes is there so key point i'm selecting key point and this key point click ok then select all dof all dof means displacement all displacement should be zero here on this point okay now at another end we have to apply some loads so again we need to go in force and moment section on key points select last key point click ok here and the direction of forces we have to give here so in f fy direction vertically downward direction i am selecting so click fy and here we need to give the magnitude of the forces so this is vertically downward direction means the direction should be negative so minus 2000 newton i am applying now you can see the load divisions after that we need to solve it all the process is complete here completed here so now we should go to solve current ls okay now you can see here solution is done click close then close also here now the next step is we need to check what is the solution what solution we get so now go to plot results and deform shape means in this section we can see how uh, what is the deform and undeform section undeform shape is there so we can check here okay so now we can clearly see this is before deformation this is after deformation means after applying 2000 newton load we can see the deformations now we need to check the results means how much stresses and how much strain and what is the displacements all the values we can check from contour plot so before going to contour plot we need to change it in 3d so go to plot control style size and shape and display of element we need to click on okay so now <coughs> we can see here 3d in 3d we can see here so counter plot nodal solution first we need to check deformations so displacement vector sum and okay so now we can see the results here we can see the result So this is the maximum deformation, this is minimum deformation. Similarly we can check stresses also. So go to in a stress section, stress and one minus stress we need to check. Okay. So this is the maximum stress, this is minimum stress value. Again in similar way we can check a strain also. So click on a strain, one minus a strain click ok 
you can check the results here 0 0.0595 is the maximum strain and 0 is the minimum strain here is stress also so according to your requirement all the values you can check here principal stress hope you understand thank you for watching